What are the best free web hosting services in 2020? To find out just that, I signed up for a bunch of services, then I monitored their performance, stability, and the downsides of each one. Since this video would be way too long if I talked about every single one, I'm only gonna talk about the ones that I like and I would recommend, saving you some time. The first entry on this list is Infinity Free. I've created a website that looks just like this in about one hour of using their services. All Infinity Free websites come with free cPanel, and you can install WordPress or other content management systems as well. It's definitely one of the better free providers, but by no means perfect. Here's the thing with my Infinity Free website. It only kinda works. As you can see here, if I visit the domain name they have assigned me, it shows a database error. Then if I refresh the page, it shows a critical error, but if I refresh one more time, it works. So obviously the site is working, it's just not working the way it's supposed to. Due to this error, I can't actually do a speed test, because every single speed test software that I use runs into this error and the speed test doesn't go through. So while I can't give you exact numbers on how fast or slow Infinity Free is, visually it seems to load okay when you just like refresh the page and see how fast it takes. I just can't give you exact numbers. I've also set up a Pingdom test that I've been running for a couple of weeks now. This monitors my website 24-7 and lets me know when it's offline. In one week, my Infinity Free website was offline for two hours, scoring Infinity Free 98.54% uptime. Two hours downtime in a week is pretty much what you can expect with free hosting. One of the biggest benefits and honestly the only reason I put Infinity Free on this list is because they have no ads on your website. The way you design it, the way your website is going to stay. Of course, there's plenty of ads in the Infinity Free dashboard and their webpage, but I don't count those as a major downside because Adblock does block those, and it's very important to have your own website without any third-party ads. And another benefit is that if you already have a domain purchased somewhere else, you can connect that to your Infinity Free web hosting for free. So your website will have a professional name instead of the one that Infinity Free gives you. However, if you don't have a domain name purchased, you'll be stuck using something like this as your website name. You can choose the name of your website during creation, but it will always have this second part to it. The thing is that Infinity Free claims to give you unlimited, or well, infinite, bandwidth and storage. And honestly, this is amazing, because even some $20 per month web hosting plans can't keep up with these claims. In theory, if you have unlimited storage and bandwidth, you can upload as much stuff as you want, and your website will have no slowdowns doesn't matter how many people are browsing at the same time. But I'll immediately call bullshit on these claims, because if you go to their terms of service, there's a point that says sites must not use excessive amounts of server resources. This include bandwidth and or disk space. For more information, check out the high resource policy. But there isn't such a thing as a high resource policy posted anywhere, so I have no idea what the true limitations of Infinity Free are. And the unlimited claims are a flat out lie. One of the most important questions for me when choosing a free service is, well, how do they make money? And in Infinity Free's case, they make a portion of their cash through ads on their website and dashboard, which is completely okay, but there are also very strong indicators that they're actually selling your data. If we would look at their privacy policy, there's a segment that states, we may share your personal data with affiliated companies, third parties and third party service providers. And the reason for sharing this data isn't essential, it's for ads, surveys, demographic analysis, basically spam. If you desperately need a website with no ads on it, I recommend you check out Infinity Free, but be prepared to refresh the pages a lot because a lot of the things that should work from the first time, well, they simply don't, so it's a bit frustrating. And for legal reasons, this next thing I say is just my observation, in reality they might not be doing this at all, but there are strong indicators that they're selling your personal data and most likely the personal data of your users, like names, locations, IP addresses, age, email addresses, even payment information. I would personally only use them for these spammy throwaway websites that you only need for a day or two and then you're never gonna visit them ever again or you're just simply learning how WordPress works or how the backend of web hosting works. 
Okay, moving on, we have 000 Webhost, a company I've actually reviewed a year back on this channel. And in this one year, they've changed a lot. Not all changes were for the better, I would say. But in my opinion, they're still the best free web hosting provider available when it comes to WordPress, of course. Using their services, I was able to create a website just like this in a reasonable amount of time, I would say. And all you need to do is create a free account and you'll have WordPress installed on it automatically. So there's not that much work involved. I've just uninstalled absolutely everything that came with my automatic installation and created the website using an Astra theme template. If you want to learn how to do this yourself, I'll have a guide right here but I'll be using this website to perform all of the performance tests. Since everything was working correctly, I could actually do the speed tests. I've used the GT metrics to perform a speed test on my site and it loaded in 8.6 seconds. For reference, the same exact website with paid plans, even cheap $1 ones from Hostinger, loads around 2 to 3 times faster. I've also done a stability test using Pingdom and my 000 webhost website was online for the majority of the time. Slight problems here and there, but decent as far as free providers go. In one week, my website was down for an hour in total, but this spanned across 55 micro outages for one or two minutes at a time, scoring 000 web host 99.2% uptime. Well, obviously, the performance isn't anything amazing, but come on, it's a free product. Of course, they'll have limitations in place. They don't want for you to use it forever. They want for you to keep upgrading. The only reason I put them above Infinity Free is because of their ad policy. You see, 000 Webhost is owned by Hostinger, another web hosting company, and the only ads you'll see on 000 Webhost is for Hostinger. That's how they make their money. They convert some amount of free users into paying ones eventually. And this is good news for you, because that means 000 Webhost, unlike Infinity Free, relies on upgrades to make most of their money. And they won't collect and sell your data just like Infinity Free, allegedly. Of course, allegedly, I have no proof of this, but it is in their privacy policy, so eh, I don't know, man. Overall, 000 Webhost has a really nice interface to work with. You can see various statistics about your website and resource usage. You can also connect a domain to your website for free if you already have one. This will change your website name from this gibberish to something nicer. If you're someone who's never created a website before, I would say that 000 Webhost is actually a nice platform to play around with. But obviously not in a million years, I would actually suggest you host an actual website on there. Because cheap web hosting is always better than free web hosting, and even their upgrade plans are much better than their free options. The Hostinger plans are a great starter option. I'll leave the link for them down in the description below, where you can get a discount by using the code Using a cheap hosting instead of a free one will allow you to have all of the premium options available, like email addresses and a domain name, while getting roughly 2 to 3 times faster loading time and no outages. The third option on this list isn't actually a web hosting company. It's a website builder that allows you to build your website and then the host it for free as part of the package. If you click the link below, you'll be able to create your website using drag and drop tools completely free of charge and Wix will host it on the internet for you. Wix offers by far the easiest way to create your website, but they also come with the most limitations. To create your website, you'll have a ton of free templates to choose from and editing the templates is really easy. Just simple drag and drop and double clicking will do everything you need it to do. Since you cannot install anything extra on your website like WordPress or other content management systems, you're stuck with the tools Wix gives you. Due to the nature of how these websites are built with drag and drop tools editor, it's really hard to optimize them for speed, meaning Wix will load slow, but it will look nice. Here are the speed test results from one of the websites built using Wix. My website loaded in 19.3 seconds, which is really, really slow. Visually, it definitely doesn't take 20 seconds to load. So my best guess is that the tool that I'm using is having a hard time determining the true speed of Wix due to the nature how it's built. In terms of stability, Wix performed the best 100% uptime during the whole week, no outages whatsoever. One of the biggest disadvantages of using Wix, however, is that you'll always have this 
huge freaking banner at the top of your website, letting everyone know that this website was designed using Wix. And since they don't have tools like a file manager or a database, you're pretty much stuck with a website that just looks pretty but isn't very functional. You're not gonna be able to add like login forms and extended functionality like that. I would say that Wix definitely has the best user experience for a free service. It never crashed on me, everything worked just as advertised, but it was by far the most limiting. You can't even connect your own domain for free, you have to pay for that, so you're stuck using this like gibberish at the top for your website name. Okay, time for some real talk. Trying to set up free web hosting has been honestly one of the most frustrating things I've done in a while now. I've done web hosting for a long time, I know how things are supposed to work and spending one to two hours on things that should take three or four minutes is genuinely infuriating. In my opinion, cheap is always better than free because when you buy a cheap web hosting service, you keep the right to complain about it. The hosting provider is accountable for their actions. They can't just delete your website and say, oops, sorry. On the other hand, if you're getting a free service, you forfeit any right to complain you have. They can do whatever they want. Sell your data, delete your website, add advertisements on it at any point. It's not your website. It's your design. It's your content. But ultimately, it's their website. Honestly, free web hosting services are only good for learning stuff without the fear of breaking them. If you're serious about your website, I strongly recommend you check out cheap web hosting services instead, like Hostinger or InterServer. I leave the reviews for both of those services at the end of this video. But for now, good luck setting up your free websites and I think you'll need it. I'll see you in the next video.